Alright guys, car wash number two. We'll be using quite a few products this time and we'll be uh, car washing two vehicles. 2008 Mitsubishi Eclipse GT and 2011 Toyota Camry Hybrid. Before applying any products, please wash your cars. Wash your cars, power wash them, hand wash them, make sure that paint is squeaky clean. Any debris, any salt or sand will damage your paint. Any product that you want to apply, stop. Clean your car, make sure it's squeaky clean, then apply product to get the best results. And to power wash these two beautiful cars, we'll be using a Yamaha 3100 power stroke gas powered pressure washer. And the soap that I will be using for the power washing would be Maguire's Gold Glass Shampoo and Conditioner. It does not come with wax and it's great. It doesn't leave any streaks, so I would recommend to use it with any power washing. switching to a hand wash and this is the important part of preparation for any uh, paint treatment uh, any work on the surface of the car is to hand wash your car it's very important you will take all the surface debris all the dust all that brake dust all that surface sticky gummy crappy Anything that sticks to your car will come off with a hand wash. If it doesn't come off with a hand wash, then the next step will be clay barring and we'll be showing that as well. So here we're using a rotating nozzle, which is a separate attachment purchased separately for the power washer. It does the job much better than a regular attachment. So I do recommend purchasing this uh, attachment, which you will find in the description. And uh, the next step is to dry your car dry it nicely you will have no residue no water residue left on it you will not have any streaks on the window or on the surface of the paint dry your vehicle once you dry it then we can start uh, doing any kind of work on the paint all right after a good power wash you're gonna wait until your car dries up Make sure it's all nice and clean. Take a bucket, put a little bit of a dish soap, mix it up with water. Take your clay bar. Make sure your clay bar is wet, clean, and your surface has water with soap. Apply the clay bar and in circular motions, slowly start rubbing it into the surface. The clay bar will pick up all the small debris, including little particles, sand, dust, dirt, sticky items, anything that you want uh, off your paint before you apply any wax or any other products to the car. Here I'm applying a clay bar evenly throughout the trunk area. 
the areas that are a little bit more rough I'll come back and I'll use the clay bar again but the most important don't forget to add some water and soap don't let that clay bar dry and scrub your paint make sure it's gliding nicely and smoothly and once the surface becomes very very smooth you can move into a different section of the vehicle I would recommend using clay bar only on the metal parts of your car making sure that you're not damaging any paint or creating any scratches make sure your clay bar is clean do not drop it wash it store it in some kind of container to protect it from absorbing any particles to prevent it from scratching your car in the future all right the trunk is done and now i'm slowly moving to the front of the vehicle i'm uh, clay barring most of the metal parts in the car to make sure that there is no particles left before i will be applying any polish or wax so once again guys most important uh, don't forget to add soapy water consistently adding water will let uh, the bar slide very smoothly on the surface and prevent it from damaging paint as you can see i'm uh, using a lot of water lots of soap uh, you can always wash it after once you use the clay bar and becomes thin just keep folding it keep folding it in keep folding it in and uh, keep gliding it over the paint uh, you will figure out you will feel right away the paint becomes smoother and uh, uh, the clay bar will be gliding easier and once you complete that section continue to next section and uh, apply it evenly um, I recommend uh, keep uh, adding water keep folding that clay bar and you'll, you'll be in the right track after finishing clay bar in the vehicle I would do a quick uh, quick wash just to uh, get rid of all the residue and uh, any particles or any leftovers from the soap uh, from the surface of the paint before applying any polish or wax. Another step before applying uh, any polish or wax would be doing uh, touch-ups on your car. So if you do have any stone chips, any scratches or any any damage to the paint that you want to apply touch-up, do it before uh, protecting the surface because it would be impossible to do after the applying wax or uh, polishing the vehicle. So here we go. Uh, there's an example. Uh, there's a little stone chip right by the front Toyota emblem on the front bumper. And uh, since it is not uh, clearly uh, accessible or let's say more easily accessible by the pencil, by the touch-up stick, I'm using a, a toothpick, uh, applying a little bit of paint on the end of a toothpick and just rolling it or slowly touching it up the area to uh, get the paint on, uh, on that uh, stone chip. So that would be another trick that you guys can use. If you have some stone chips that are not easily accessible, use a toothpick. It's way better than any metal particles that could damage the paint further. It's uh, very easy to work with. Uh, the paint sticks to it very nicely, so uh, try it out. All right, guys, and this is how the touch-up is done. Next step after cleaning the vehicles so will be applying polish. Polish is the step before applying wax to make sure your vehicle is nice and shiny. If you want that glare, if you want that paint to shine, apply this before you apply wax. It is a very important step. If you skip it, then you're only gonna have uh, a protection on the paint, but the paint uh, shine will not be as bright. If you have a dull paint, if the vehicle is more than five years old, and if you park your car outside, this is a step I would not skip. Guys, application is very easy. Soft sponge, uh, small portion of the product, circular motions, uh, apply it evenly to the section of the vehicle, 
and then uh, uh, polish it with uh, with a nice and clean uh, rag, preferably a nice soft towel. Uh, in my situation, I will be using um, a microfiber towel, which is uh, probably the best option uh, to polish uh, the vehicle. So make sure that towel is nice and clean and uh, uh, polish, polish that uh, uh, that area uh, before applying any wax. Most important, do not let this uh, product dry. Once the product is dry, it's losing its potency. So, guys, once you apply it, polish it right away. Do not, do not waste your time. And here's the nice and clean uh, microfiber rack that I'm using to polish up uh, the trunk to get uh, consistent glare and uh, before applying wax making sure there is no residue of the product left uh, and uh, it's all even and consistently applied to the whole area of in this case trunk so if you notice i'm not sure how good of a quality of the video it is if you notice the the trunk is nice and bright and uh, the glare is consistent and uh, right now I will be um, applying wax for this to the same area and I will be uh, polishing that wax with a different rack. My recommendation do not use the same racks for different products to prevent uh, any kind of smudges or any products be mixing and uh, producing different results. So um, yeah, polish it up and uh, let's apply some wax. This time we'll be using Magyar's Gold Class Liquid Wax, uh, sticking to the same brand to not have any um, problems mixing the products, but uh, at the same time, consistent quality. If you keep using the same products, you will uh, get the quality that you expect. If you're using different products, then some products may be uh, okay to mix and some products may give you different results. So uh, in this case, uh, all of the product, most of the products used to uh, for the paint protection are the same company. So here I'm applying uh, a liquid wax uh, with a soft sponge, a soft side of a sponge. And uh, the same, I'm doing circular motions small area so I'm uh, working on the trunk since I'm already been working on the trunk and uh, uh, in this case the product uh, the wax is not uh, same uh, as as the polish so it is a more fatty uh, type of uh, product and it doesn't dry as fast as the previous product so in this case you should not be worried about taking extra time and applying it evenly but uh, make sure you clean up uh, all the leftovers of the product from the windows or uh, the lights if you uh, apply it uh, over applied it so uh, here the product is applied and now the product will be uh, uh, polished buffed with uh, a new microfiber towel. If you notice, I'm using different microfiber from previous application to make sure I don't get different products mixed up with the same towel. So uh, again, similar motions as application, either circular or up, down, left, right, and uh, um, polishing that product nicely into the paint. So if you can see, this is how it is car wash is now complete here's the final product nice clean shiny vehicle I have applied um, some window cleaner to the windows and used another clean rack to polish the wheels other than that uh, that's it no more steps to record so if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing those nice comments thank you for watching